We all know how powerful MySQL indexes are. But do you know how they work? In this video, I'll show you exactly how MySQL indexes work. Now, before we see how MySQL indexes work, let's take a look at an example first and then see how it works with respect to this example. Recently, I put out a video showing you how powerful MySQL indexes are. We took a query that took almost two seconds and brought it down to three milliseconds. Do check it out. I'll leave the link in the description or you could find the video at the top right corner of your screen. Check it out and you'll see all the ways we can create indexes and really how powerful they are. Now here, I'm using the exact same table, which is the author's table. And notice we have almost 3 million records. Let me run a very simple query on this. I'm trying to find all the instances where the first name is Jonas. We got the results and we see that it took almost 103 milliseconds. Now, if I add an index to this column first name, the query should get faster. Now let's go ahead and quickly add an index. Again, check out the video in, in the description. Uh, you'll see all the ways you can create indexes and how powerful they are. And you'll also see how we can create indexes for multiple columns. Here, I'm using just the alter table statement and I'm creating a new index by saying add index, the index name, which is the author index and just one column, which is the first name column. Let me create this index. So you see it's taking some time because when you create an index, MySQL has to take all the values from the first name column and store it in a separate location in a certain order so that searching is easier and quicker. The index is done. Let's run the same query again. You see, it was much faster. Notice that it took 0 0.0027 seconds. That is 2.7 milliseconds. So the query went from 103 milliseconds for the same 50 rows to 2.7 milliseconds. Now that is fast. Now let's see how MySQL index works and how it worked with this example. Now here I'm showing the author's table without the other columns and just the first name column uh, to make it simple. I want us to think of database indexes the same way how the index in a book works. When you're searching for a certain word, there are two ways you can find it. You could either go through each and every page or you can go to the index, find the word you're looking for and then go to the relevant pages. MySQL indexes work the exact same way. Now, when I'm searching for the word Jonas, now without an index, MySQL would scan through each and every row till it finds the values Jonas. When it does, it'll mark down the location where it found the word Jonas, and then it will move to the next row till all the rows are scanned. And once it's done, it will go back to the locations where the value existed, it'll pull out all the data and it'll present to the user. This is why regular searches or regular filters are slow because MySQL has to go through each and every row. Now, let's see what happens when we create an index. First, notice that to the left of the author's table, we have all the pointer locations. These are just locations. These are basically pointers which point to different locations in the author's table. To the left, we have the index column. Here, what we notice is when the index is created, MySQL takes all the data from the first name column and stores it in a separate location. And that's why it took some time because it had to create separate storage for it. And you notice that it's set it up in an ordered list. And it's also made a note of all the pointer locations. Now, this is basically how a B tree structure works. When we index, think of it as a binary search. So when we search for Jonas, what MySQL does now on the index column is since it's ordered, MySQL will know that each and every value in terms of its byte value will be greater than the next one. And so when you're searching for the word Jonas, it will first look at the middle value of this column, which is Lily. And then it will check if the value of Jonas in byte is lesser or greater than Lily. If it is greater, it will look to the right of the column or in this representation, bottom, below Lily. 
If it was lesser, it would look above. Since the value of Jonas is lesser than Lily, it will look above Lily. The same procedure will continue. Next, it will look for the middle value among the top row, which is Hannah. And then again, it will check if it's greater or lesser. By this method of elimination, MySQL can find Jonas without having to go through each and every row in the column. Once it finds a match, which is the value Jonas, it will check each and every row below it till it continues to find Jonas. And when the next word is not Jonas, it will realize that it's found all the values which is equal to Jonas. It will now take the corresponding pointer locations, which in this example is just P10. It will go back to the original table, which is the author's table, pull out the data from the pointer location P10 and present it to the users. This is how the B tree or this is how the index works in MySQL. Without having to scan through each and every word, it will take all the data, store it in a separate location in an ordered list, and then it will use something similar to binary search, which is called as B tree here. And then by means of this elimination, it will find the value. So therefore, querying using indexes are much, much faster. There are different kinds of indexes like the primary key, the unique, the regular index that we looked at and full text indexes. These all use the same B tree concept. We will take a look at the different kinds of indexes in a later video. But for now, I hope with this, we have a clear understanding of how basic MySQL or database indexes work. If you like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.